explosion and fire on the Piper platform. All personnel abandoned. Bloody hell, it's really on fire, isn't it? Yeah, they've got already. Uh, zero one, uh, Thoros. The situation is that the platform is completely on fire from sea level to top. Uh, we have in fact pulled back somewhat. Uh, the structure is uh, collapsing and it is uh, total fire. Uh, we are continuing to spray water on it. One of the standby vessels is reported. July 6th, 1988, 120 miles northeast of Scotland, the Piper Alpha oil rig. At 14,000 tons and two and a half times the height of the Statue of Liberty, it is one of the largest rigs in the world. A crew of 226 rotate shifts to keep the oil and gas flowing. Jeff Bollins is the chief control room operator that evening. At 9.45 p.m., Jeff suddenly hears an alarm, indicating a problem with one of the rig's condensate pumps. That evening, pump A is offline for maintenance, leaving just pump B working, the same pump that's now been shut down by the alarm's trip system. To avoid a full shutdown, a decision is made to halt maintenance on pump A and bring it back online. But what nobody knows is that pump A has a fatal flaw. During maintenance, its safety valve has been removed, meaning that there is nothing to stop thousands of cubic feet of gas escaping into the atmosphere. The faulty pump is switched back on. Then at 9.55 p.m., disaster. A spark suddenly ignites the escaping gas and an explosion rips through the rig. Confronted by 700 degree flames, most of the 226 strong crew are now either dead or severely injured. By 10 to midnight, less than two hours after the initial blast, the Piper Alpha is on the verge of collapse. Finally, the rig's legs start to give way and the Piper Alpha starts to slide into the sea. A total of 167 men lost their lives that night. Just 61 survived. The huge oil blaze in Jaipur remains untamed. Although army soldiers join firefighters within two hours of its start, the fire rages on relentlessly at all the 12 containers of the IOC depot. The IOC says this massive fire broke out after a pipeline valve failed and lots of oil spilled over while being transferred. But the uncontrollable fire and the simplistic explanation for it has raised several questions. But two crucial ones put the IOC clearly in the dock. Why did the IOC not inform the police or fire department for over an hour after the pipe leakage? And how come the two fire hydrants in the depot not have a single drop of water when according to rules they should be full every day? With six IOC employees trapped in the fire due to the delay, many say it's gross negligence that's at the root of the tragedy. Twelve bodies uh, have been found and 18 severely injured have been shifted to uh, the Amlapuram and the Rizal hospitals uh, in that fire that happened at uh, the Gale pipeline in Andhra Pradesh. The death toll was expected to be quite high because this is obviously a pipeline that was carrying fuel and fuel, pro fuel products. Early this morning, we are told around 5 o'clock possibly there was a leakage in the fire and what exactly led to the spark and led to the fire is not very clear. Some reports suggest that there was a small blast there and other reports seem to suggest that there must have been something inflammable uh, the, near the gas pipeline. This is obviously a residential area, Nagaram village in Mamirikudru Mandal of East Kodavri district. Um, 15 people have been killed. Uh, many others, uh, we are told, are in hospital. At least six of them are very severely burnt, uh, suffering more than 70 to 80 percent burn. So their condition certainly very, very precarious. Uh, if, if the area had been very, very densely populated, we are told the death toll would have been higher. 